Hey, Devante, what do you have to say about the charges against you? Devante, you're charged. You got nothing to say, guys. Come with me. I'm your Did you punch that woman in the face? You got nothing to say. Right now, 430 at Boxing Star, bonding out of jail in Broward County and refusing to answer our questions. What's up, boxing fans? Welcome back to the channel. If you thought the Gervonta Davis drama couldn't get any crazier, guess what? It just took a turn. That's leading everyone in shock today. We're diving deep into the latest headline that's got the entire boxing community buzzing Gervonta Tank Davis has. He'd been sentenced to jail after the feds raided his home. That's right, things are heating up and you won't want to miss a second of this story. And the defense attorney, why was he allowed to attend his pre-sentencing investigation with an entourage? All right, let's get into it. So for those who've been living under a rock, here's a quick recap of what led to this jaw-dropping moment. A couple of weeks ago, federal agents stormed into Gravanta Davis' house with a search warrant. This wasn't some casual visit, folks. They came in guns blazing and left. With a treasure trove of incriminating evidence, we're talking about illegal drugs and unregistered firearms found right there in his home. It was wild. Now, this isn't just a regular old legal issue. It's a full-blown scandal that's caught everyone's attention. Gervonta, known for his explosive knockout power in the ring, suddenly found himself at the center of a serious legal mess. But wait, it gets even crazier fast forward to today, and we have the shocking news that Gervonta Davis has officially been sentenced to jail time. That's right. This isn't just a slap on the wrist reports are coming in that he's facing serious time behind bars due to the findings. During that raid, you've got to wonder, how did it come to this the boxing world is buzzing? With opinions, and we're here to break it all down for you. What the hell, bro? Uh, you know, they pulled with the person. All right, so. What, what, what's your side of this? She's trying to take my car, this is my truck. Now, before we dive deeper into the implications of this sentence, let's talk about Javon's reaction after the sentencing tank. Broke his silence in an exclusive interview, and let me tell you, he didn't hold back. He called the raid a setup, suggesting that someone close to him might have been feeding. Information to the feds, I've been watching my back for a while now. Davis said, this ain't no surprise to me. The people around me, some of them ain't loyal. Hoa did tank, just throw shade at his own circle. It looks like Dervon feels betrayed by those he thought he could trust with accusations flying around. Who can we really believe in this tangled web of drama? Now let's get into the fallout from all this madness. The implications of this raid and subsequent sentencing are huge, not just for Tank, but for the entire body boxing community. Dervon Davis has been a rising star known for his explosive fighting style and electrifying performances in the ring. But with this legal baggage hanging over his head, what does the future hold experts are saying that this could seriously impact his career? Sponsors are pulling out and fans are left wondering if they can support a fighter who's facing such serious charges. Now let's switch gears a bit and talk about the elephant in the room, Floyd Mayweather. We all know their relationship has been complicated to say the least at one point Floyd was. Tank's mentor guiding him through the wild world of boxing, but then the drama unfolded and let's just say their friendship took a hit. During the same interview, Davis dropped a serious bombshell that's going to have fans talking. He hinted that Floyd might have played a role in this whole setup. A lot of people don't know what goes on behind closed doors, but trust me, Floyd's got his hands in a lot of things he knows more than he. Let's on, did he just throw some shade at the legend himself? It's like he's saying, hey, Floyd might be the puppet master in all of this. You can bet Floyd won't take this lying down down either. You know he's got to come back ready. And guess what, Floyd? Mayweather didn't wait long to clap back. Right after Tank's comments went viral, he jumped on social media and fired off a statement classic Floyd. He said, I've always looked out for Tank but I'm not responsible for his actions, but this is where it gets interesting. Gervonta Davis broke the silence on. Having illegal firearms and guess who it's rel related to? Yep, you got it, Floyd Money Mayweather Tank said the guns were just for safety. Now you're probably wondering safety for what well Tank broke it down. Gervonta Davis revealed some shocking news. Floyd Mayweather hired guys to jump him while. He was out on runs. That's right, the only time Tank is unarmed is when he's out running and Floyd took advantage of that. 
Mayweather spied on Tank and even shared shared his whereabouts with Tank's previous opponent, Frank Martin. Can you believe it? Frank Martin was the one who spilled the beans, but Floyd didn't stop there. Oh no, he went even further. We all know Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather worked together for a long time. If there's one guy who knows all of Tank's moves, it's got to be Mayweather. And guess what Floyd did next? He outed all of Tank's moves to Frank Martin. That's right, Floyd gave away all of Tank's secrets. And let's just say Gervonta Davis was not too happy about it. You know, he the one, you know, he the one told Frank that I was running at five o'clock, I mean, seven o'clock in the morning, <laughs> Friday. He told Frank that. He was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. I seen his people's uh, drop by while I was uh, running. It's cool. It's, it's all right. You know, I don't really think too much of it. it ain't, he's not gonna hurt me, you know what I mean? So. It's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. Get a picture in a bad situation. Another statement was released by Gervonta Davis after the raid that mentioned Floyd. Now you can't miss out on what he said because this changes everything I wanted to get to Floyd before he could get to me. He had guys spying on me at the hotel. He had some nasty plan in mind. I ain't scared. Bring it on. Whenever, but I do need some safety precautions. You can't be bringing your fists to a gunfight Floyd Mayweather versus Gervonta Davis. How did this begin? Let's break it down. Deal, seven fight deal, which is music to the ears of many boxing fans. You get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? Uh, whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Devin Haney. Yeah. He sat Cruz. Yeah, but there's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Errol Spence. Outside the ring. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. September. No. Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. Tank Davis is now arrested. Now Floyd being Floyd tried to take control of the narrative, claiming he's always been there for Tank, helping him every step of the way. He went on to say that it's always been Tank taking shots at him and disrespecting him. Floyd painted himself as the victim, insisting that he's only ever had Tank's best interests at heart. Now we all that's nothing but a cap. My thing, my thing is I've always been there for him from day one, um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to uh, help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see, I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And, um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd. Take a shot at Floyd. Take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful. Constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. 